really don't feel like filming, but I'm gonna do this real quick because I wanna have this on records for myself. I got some goodies here from Track Day Hobbies. I wanna do this mainly because I wanna pull this guy down off that shelf. I'm gonna go over it real quick. Uh, this is gonna be the last time I see it like that. It's gonna go under the knife. I really wish I still had the first, my first setup, Drag Baja. I really wish I still had it yet. Probably, I could have hung it on the wall somewhere. And this is my second Drag Baja build. Now I'm gonna do another style of Baja. That would have been my third. Um, but I, why have so many Bajas all over the place, you know? I also got a shout out and a goodie bag over here. From, and this is from my good friend, Todd. The name of his YouTube channel is RC Ohio, all right? Cool person, awesome brat brother. Take a look at his channel, he's a good guy, great guy, all right? Um, so let's open this. Let me show you what I got, these goodies here. All right, so this is what I got when I was at Track Their Hobbies. Um, I got some ceramic bearings. We got ourselves a Kraken Baja hinge pin set. All right, it's got a little weight to it. That's the only thing I don't like, but um, they're nice. Um, I just saw these there. They're good to have. All right. Uh, they hold your servos down nice. We got ourselves a, a couple of uh, 9500 clutch springs. All right, there's many types of clutch springs, okay? There's thicker ones. These are a 9500, right, from DDM. It carries these, and uh, Track Day Hobbies carries these, but there are other, like these are customized clutch springs. All right, these are like crazy RPMs, all right? This is not good for everyday driver, nor do I like them for drag racing. It was just too much. All right, I got another one here. Just way too much, it's so stiff, man. Look at that thickness. All right, sometimes you even have to drill out the clutches and, you know, but they're just crazy. Uh, I'm not kidding you. One of these is 12,500 RPMs. You know, that's, it's like, that thing is already revving high, not even moving. That's, you know, at a standstill. So that shit launches crazy. But I don't like it when you're at the light because sometimes if you're nervous or whatever, or if it's sunny or you got a little sweat in your eyes, at those RPMs, sometimes if, what if the car moves up forward? Now you red light, you know, so it screws me up, man. I, 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 I'm not, I wasn't too happy last year with those, the high rev ass uh, clutch springs, but uh, 9,500 is high enough. Um, I don't know if I'll be using this. I may use another version of it, something a little bit stronger than this, because sometimes these thinner 9,500 springs, once you use them a couple of times, they, they stretch out. And they're no longer consistent, you understand? If you got like a, a special metal spring, like this custom one, uh, they're always consistent, man. They're just stiff as hell, always. But yeah, that's the only thing. Uh, but it all depends what you want to do with it. Um, Bartolo told me he will be coming out with clutch springs. So stay tuned for that. Uh, who else? Who else? Uh, UFC makes great clutch springs as well. Good quality metal. Uh, but Bartolone told me he's going to be coming out with some really good quality metal, made in the USA, metal steel. They will be consistent. He promises that all his clutch springs will be consistent. So stay tuned for that. I don't have any yet. I will be trying them as well. But for now, this is what I got to try out. Um, we got ourselves some one-way bearings for the two speeds. We got ourselves an FG uh, ball and spring. For the two speeds, this will work on King Motor two speed and Black Bones two speeds. All right, you don't have to have the King Motor spring and ball. You can use the FG ones. Uh, I saw a Rooster Tail there. I know you had Rooster Tails. Uh, Track Day Hobby sells Rooster Tail 990 carbs. I already do have a few Rooster Tail 990 carbs. I saw this there. I had to come home with it. Uh, hey, another one is fine with me. Um, what else? What else? I got a nice uh, carry strap belt here from uh, Track Day Hobbies. Anyways, here's Fast Eddie. I got a few of these. I got. Uh, I haven't used them yet. I even got some Robin ones up there that are very nice as well. <clears throat> Primal ones. What is it? I think it was a Robin one. It's very cool as well. That neon one. 
And this one is very cool as well. From Fast Eddie. Team Fast Eddie. And we got some... Diff uh, oils. All right. And we got these diff oils as well. But this is what I got today from uh, Track Day Hobbies, my local hobby store. Um, what else? What else? And then uh, you got these there. Um, yeah, so that's what I got. Uh, the only thing I forgot there was uh, an FS clutch, but I'm not going to be using an FS clutch because I got a, a drag modified uh, clutch here. There's a Bartolone clutch here. This is an 8,000 spring right here. See, this is a modified one. All right, lightweight. And this also, yes, this is an 8,000 spring, but from this modification that Bartolone did, it's actually going to be more RPM, so it'll feel like a 9,000, you know, or 8,500, either either or between the 500 RPMs. All right, so I'm going <clears> to <throat> see how that, that guy is stretched out. Supposedly, these are a little bit better, more consistent. These guys are just ridiculous. All right, I mean, you can see the difference, man. They're just ridiculous. These are a pain even to mount that, to put it here, to squeeze this on. With those springs, it's crazy. It's ridiculous. But, um, yeah, so I may just throw this and these 95ers on here temporarily until I get something better. It is brand new. Maybe I can get a few test passes, a few test runs with it. We'll see what happens when I'm done, once I'm done. Let's bring down my Baja, my drag Baja. Yeah, here's a closer up. A final. I didn't get to race it that much. I did test drive it a lot. The best pass I did with this uh, using my friend's uh, light system was a full one and that was a beautiful paved road all right I, I have a, a video in the past where we were testing out my Primal Dragster it was that road all right from last year's video all right so oh uh, yeah so this drag Baja has been through a lot already it's been through many changes I've had Baja shocks I've had FG shocks, FG setup, um, yeah, a lot of changes. Many exhaust systems. I had the uh, D, uh, DDM Dominator uh, um, version two exhaust, re-exhaust. I've had many exhaust systems on there. Um, what else? I still have all those exhaust systems. Now uh, you guys remember? Yeah. So here it is. Here, this is the one. This is literally the one. This is a rear uh ddm st version 2 um dominator exhaust it was pretty cool did all right then i had this sh rear exhaust drag pipe from sh all right i no longer have it i no longer have the other ones um the only one that i didn't do yet was this one and this is a bartolone side pipe a lot of people use this pipe to drag race all right, the side mount pipe, uh, uh, Bartolone pipe. A lot of people, almost everybody that, that drag races runs that. I mean, the majority of the people. Once Bartolone came out with the first drag pipe, that was on my Primal Dragster, I used it. Here, this is the first one. This is what he's tested out. Yeah, I still have it. I was going to save this pipe for a friend of mine, but he wound up getting the new version of this. So you guys remember this, happy to see you pipe. All right, so this guy worked really well. And this is what made most power on Bartolone's dyno. Night we got, Gary and I, Gary was here chilling out. We got a little buzzed. And um, we asked Chris if he could do the same thing he did to, um, Chris wound up doing this honeycomb shaped aluminum header on his end bleed pipes for the low C 5 bs And that was a freaking awesome, great idea to do. And, um, we asked him, listen, can you make us drag pipes with that setup? And sure enough, he, he, he said he wasn't going to do it. Nobody's going to buy it, spend them extra money, blah, blah, blah. Well, we did. And now he makes them. And there it is. I mean, I anodized mine. See that honeycomb? That's aluminum. This separates the heat a lot. You get heat from your exhaust. It, it prevents it from going and it cools down really nice. It cools down really good. This keeps the heat away from the engine. You know, so it's really cool. And vice versa. You know, so. The only thing is now you're gonna have to use some uh, uh, three bond in there. You know, yeah, you got a, a beautiful header here. You can take it out. Uh, you can keep the header mounted, which is cool. 
Um, but you're going to have to use some three bond inside the circular part. You know, the gasket's perfect. Use the same gasket, but in here, all right? And here, that's where you're going to have to use the three bond. And it's, that's it. So, and we've been using that, that pipe ever since. Yeah, so here's a look. One last look. It's got some hard to find parts. This is hard to find. You can't find this anymore from Dark Soul. Super expensive, but yeah. So let's bring it down. All right, has a close up. I do not know if I'll be using these, reusing these front wheels. I may go a little bit wider just so that because it handles better. All right, this is the Bartolone Recase 34 drag mod. This is a drag mod that he did, but I was talking to him today and he really wants me to get his long rod, but I don't think I'm going to reuse this engine. I've used this engine on my on my Primal Dragster and I got third place with this on bitch. Had a, this is a good engine. Um, he said there's one more thing left to do to this, but... It w this engine will only be meant for drag racing only. Like right now, if I want to, I could run this engine on a low C5T um, on any one of my Bajas and have a good time with it. You understand? You understand? I can put it on an MTXL. I can put it on my Baja Max T. You know what I'm saying? This makes more power than a Roven 45cc uh, stock engine. All right? This, this bought alone 34 Reed. All right? But... I, I, he's like, oh, send me the engine if you want, or get the long rod, you know, if you really want to kick some ass at the drag racing. But, uh, you know, the drag racing is cool and everything, fun and everything, but it's not, I'm not, um, it's not all, it's not my everything, you understand? So, you know, there's, there's, there's other guys that, that kick ass with the drag racing. That's all they think about. That's all they do, which, which is great. But I'm not one of them guys. There's no need for me to go, uh, um, all out. I just want to have fun, and and that's it. You know, you know, do the best you can or whatever. But like, I, if I, if I wanted to, I can get this, take this engine out, send it to Chris. He can do one more thing to it. Then I'm gonna have this engine back, and then it's only gonna be meant for drag racing. I can't bash with it ever again. You know. Why, why, I rather just keep the engine the way it is, and that, that way I can use this engine for multiple things. This engine's got plenty of life left. I only used it, I've had it, this is three years old, this engine already. Three years old. I've used it on my dragster, I used it on my Baja, my, this drag Baja, and I'm going to use it again for, for, for another season, all right? Uh, we, we have other engines that we could use, all right? But um, this makes more power. Uh, you, know, you understand? So we have other engines. All right. Why is it? We have Signature Series, 34. We have Scott Finley, 34, Reed. Uh, this signature is also a Reed. All right. We also have a nice SEZ engine that we got to play around with. All right. This is a five bolt head. All right, you can have you can mod these out pretty nice too. This this they, these reed cases are, are really nice. All right, not many people mess with these, but that would have been a nice drag mod uh, to do. But um, we're gonna keep this boy here one more year, and then maybe next year I'll take it out, and I may use this on an MTXL or something else. All right, but I'm gonna drag race it one more time. And we'll see how it goes. All right. Just a, a, a last look of how it is. I got to go over my two speed. I 
that's it. It's been it's been fun and everything, but anyways, let's 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 open up Todd's Todd's package here that he did. This I really should open it on a future video, but now right, what we got here? What we got here? We got a letter. Awesome. Look at this. Hey, John, hope your busy ass life is finding you well. Enclosed is a second handle for your second stand. Dude, awesome, bro. I included a red one for Mr. Red Carlos. <laughs> that's freaking awesome. Dude, yeah, that's awesome. Hopefully, we can all get together for a good bash this year. I hope so, man. Look at this guy, man. This is what you call brat brother. Todd, RC Ohio. See, these are the guys... We should be all supporting good people like this. This is good people. You understand? That do the right thing. They put in the work. They have many builds. They have proof of many builds. You know what I'm saying? Todd, he does the brap hood thing. He's done nitro in the past, but different type of nitro. And he does electrics as well. But Todd's a super awesome wrencher. You know what I'm saying? What a, what a cool guy. You know? And we, we all, this is one of the guys that we should be supporting because I got his back. I know he has my back. He is like that. You know what I'm saying? You need somebody good in the, the BRAP community, find Todd, RC Ohio. He's the good, he's a good guy. We need more people like this. You understand? This is how people like this, we're going to make the hobby grow. Not, not, not like other types of people that make people leave or quit. Or get, they don't want to be involved with all the bullshit. They don't want to get involved with all this soap opera shit. You understand? So, big shout out to Todd, RC Ohio, man. All right? Come on, what we got here? What we got here? Oh, dude, awesome, bro. Awesome. Damn, I want this red one, man. What, are you kidding me? That red one is badass. So, Todd made us these handles, you know. I don't know if you guys, some of you guys have been with me for a while. He made me one already in the past. Here it is. For my axis stand. All right, he made this handle. That's awesome. All right, so that's going to pretty much go over here. All right, so, so we, we have the swivels. All right, these swivel for the axis stands, you, you can loosen them and you can have them loose or however way you want. You know, with this... It's nice. You don't need to put a wrench here or nothing. You have a nice handle. Boom. You can just loosen it, tighten it. It's very nice. It worked out well for me here with, with, with a few builds. Look, see this? It's nice. Look. You loosen it. You, you tighten it up. Now, when I loosen it, if you pull this pin out, I have it locked right now. But if you pull this pin out, all right, pull this pin out, pull this out. You can put your car... Sideways, you can get to underneath the chassis, over the chassis, you know, you can get underneath your chassis and work there, pull an engine out or whatever. Let's just say you have a low C5T or an MTXL. Now we have MTXL plates for this. Just in case you guys aren't aware, uh, another thing I want to bring up is Axis Stands now makes and carries the MTXL plate. All right, so now we can run our MTXL chassis there. Just to give you guys a heads up, MTXL chassis, boom. All right, so this is going to be awesome. All right, I'm going to show this in the future. All right, I'm not going to install this now. Super easy to install. Uh, when I get my dragster back down here, because I also want to show this little mod, quick mod, that I'm going to do to these axis stands, all right, with the Baja plate. All right, so this here I got to give to Carlos, man. So big shout out to Todd. Thank you, buddy. Thanks. All right, man, this baby's gonna go under the knife. Let me get off this freaking phone. I got crazy messages. I haven't even been on freaking Instagram. Last night I posted some uh, powerlifting shit. Um, I do not work out like a normal person does. I do not work out to lose weight. I do not work, I just work out for strength gains. And I'm actually, my strength kind of went down a little bit, but I'm, I'm loving it, it's fun. Last week, I did a heavy bench. I did. I tried to attempt a 370. 
and it almost did it. My friend Patrick just had to slightly touch it, all right? I was using the slingshot band, though. That weight, man, oh my God, my, ch it's not the chest, but the shoulders, everything. You feel it everywhere, man. So last night, I was trying to pound out, I did some 315s, yes, which that was my goal the whole summer, and I did it. Now I can do 315 one or two times, no problem. But so last night, I tried to do 355, and I couldn't, you know, because all, all this here, this here, this, it's, it just gave on me, man, you know? But anyways, so sometimes that's what happens. And then I got to wait till I recover. I'm just an old fuck, man. You know what are you going to do? It takes longer to recover or whatever, so. But uh, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm still at it. Like tonight, tonight, I'm going to go back at it. We're going to be doing some squats. That shit is tough. All right, so. Anyways, having fun with that, but let me get busy with this. So listen, you can end. This video is long enough. See you later. It'll end here. But I'm going to show you from here on in, if you want to stay here in this video, I'm going to show you how, how it was at Track Day Hobbies today. Uh, we say hello to Mello there at Track Day Hobbies. So if you want, stick around, hang around for that. Otherwise, see you next video. Look where I'm at today, kid. I decided to film today. Why not? Let's film. I don't feel like filming or editing. Or, oh, I hate it. I'm just tired of it. I'm over here picking up some goodies. Marcia wanted to say hi, hello to everybody. Hi. Picking up some cracking parts. Picking up some goodies, kid. I'm going to take another set of RCR brakes as well. It's a good idea. Okay. Thank you for showing me that. Boom. Okay. There you go. And we got some, we got some, man, these are some nice pins. We're going to be getting some heavy duty pins. Mm -hmm. Your lace off. Uh-huh. I'm probably gonna need one. I have an RC Max one, but this one's pretty nice to take down. FS clutches. Awesome. All right. I'll take that too. I got one of those already. But damn, there's a lot of goodies here. Let's go see the boys in the back. All right, we got some workers. Marcy, I'll be right back because I gotta, I gotta, I gotta look at this, man. I came here just for two things. Now I'm gonna have to go home with a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Jeez. Hello, boys. Is it okay if I come in or no? Is there a top secret work? No. no My man over here is busy, bro. I thought he would work. Damn. Oh, you got an MGT here, kid. You got an old school MGT. There's an 8.0. Got an 8.0 here, man. Man, I would not be bashing this body, man. You can't, it's hard to get those bodies. Yeah, that's the one that came with the American flag. Mm-hmm. You had a bunch of... Uh, Nitros here. We got a nice low C5B here. So we got a, a few savages here, man. Good to see some savages. I haven't seen savages in a while. Damn. Damn. Remember when these things were fucking king, bro? It was all over the place. Everybody and their mother had one of these things. Actually, Damn. That, that was that was to squash the uh, the T Max. Yeah, I fucking can't stand the T Maxes. One hit the T Max and, and you got it and you got MGT it. Most, one of the most durables. Damn, you got another Savage here. Well, that's my boy. But big ass wheels. You see that motor? That's the Sen. That's the Sen. Oh, you got the Sen. The Sen. Conversion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. A lot of people don't know about that, but that's I used to have a Sen. I used to have two Sens. You had the Nemesis? Or I the had the Genesis? Nemesis and the Genesis. I had the Genesis first and then the Nemesis afterwards. Yeah, metal uh, front dry shop and. Don't you nitros here? Yeah. What is the one that came with a 47 special edition? The Nemesis was like a truggy version, it was like a, a yeah, race it version. Had the, it had the wheels like that. Yeah. No, no, it had like a disc. It looked like a, 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 a gigantic uh, m muggy. Oh. You know the Losi Muggy? Yeah, I that's won. yeah, that's. Yeah, that was the fun days. What are those yeah. days when, man? I know, right? Gone, it, it, like, it flew by, right? Yeah. But, I remember uh, the rallies. With but the, now uh, we can run truggies, bro. Even better, do more. Even with these Losi. Yeah, but uh, a truggy is a, <clears throat> is a compromise between a buggy and a truggy that is a, uh, based in a truck version. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they're lighter. Look oh. at these heavy ass things, man. We were pushing these things. But, yo, at least, but we had fun with them. Yo, at least you knew, uh, you knew what it was. 
Yeah, and then you had the wrench mark. Not really in case it's a girl or a boy. Right, exactly, exactly. You know, it's a truggy, but it's a buggy. Today's generation, they have no idea what that was like. Yeah. I remember when the first RC tanks came out. Remember sure, those sure. days? Yeah, of course, of course. One ten, of course. Uh, uh, they were called one ten, uh, one ten scale, scale stadium trucks, mm -hmm. and then it was the MT, that it was the mm -hmm. SPI, right, right, right. four wheel drive, and then it was the rallies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so Bringing back some memories, kid. Days upon days of, of, we can go to my boy's house that he got about eighty five boxes on open. Yeah, yet. yeah, yeah. yeah. And oh. I said, oh, this it was this year. Yeah, this came out. By the way, it was Exceed RC, it was HPI, it was uh, uh, Hot Bodies, it was Axio. Yeah, yeah, it Axio. Was, uh, Hot uh, Bodies. Uh, team um, uh, Lossy. Team Associated. Yeah, Team Associated, Team Lossi, Sen. Yeah, Sen Genesis. And then the whole uh, Minardi, by the way, a lot of people don't know, but Traxxas is the first one that came with a one-fifth scale. Yeah. It was a buggy. Oh, yeah, May, they all... May in, in the night. That thing was ugly looking. I remember that. Yeah, but yeah. it was the copy of the Bandit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, one-fifth scale. Yeah. And then uh, uh, the car, uh, the car that, that I fell in love and hated the first month, HPI Hellfire Truggy. Oh yeah, yeah, remember I one? remember that. I used to have one. I had a ton of parts for that son bitch yeah. too. Until the but. front brakes started acting up, then the, the center dip, but the motor was bulletproof. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a good days. All right, man. Now we got it. We got it. Yeah, by the way, do you think that HPI is gonna is gonna follow up with the uh, one fifth scale uh, on road version this year? I don't know, man. Who knows? Uh, well, what body do you think? That, do you think that they're gonna put the cam block body? I don't know. They they were supposed to. They were supposed to come out with a Camaro body. I was gonna buy a HPI Baja like three years ago. No, two no, years ago. They, Remember they, when the Mustang Mark One body came out? Yes. All right, they were supposed to come out with a Camaro body. The orange one. Yes. They made only 200 special edition of those. They were supposed to come out with a Chevy Camaro uh, body, right? Yes. They told me this. And they did not, so I did not buy it. I would have, I probably could have had like five or six guys get one of those. Oh, yeah. And, and, and the biggest conundrum of all times, the you know? Cooper. I wound up getting the Roven 45, so you see, uh, uh, yeah. five, F, oh, uh, how 5B. You like it? How you like the, 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 the Max the T? with the biggest uh, suspension. I love the Max T. Yeah? Yeah, I love that son of a bitch. I do. Yeah, by the way, it's fun. The, it's fun. The, the, the Yugo biceps lifting up the primal? <laughs> uh, a little bit, a little bit. They, they, <laughs> dude, they, they need to sell like, like a carving. No, actually, no. Because then you're going to have uh, problems with your back. Oh, damn. You got some RB Innovations intakes here? Nice. Fan clutches, cooling know, clutch. Because no, it's, this, different. it's different. I measure from here to here, from here to here. To here. Iridium plugs. The same measurement as the other All right, ones. you got some uh, good goodies so here, kid. I don't kid. understand yeah. in case the hole is offset more to the outside. This, this here is wider. Oh. And I forgot. <clears throat> Whatever. The Arbert, man. Oh, really cool fuel lines. Nice. Damn. You mm -hmm. got serious goodies here, kid. What? Jesus. Super nice. Man, I'm going to have to... When I uh, get to build my uh, one of my Bajas up, I'm going to have to... Got some serious goodies here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's hauled to, to the next century. I see you got a light and flywheel there, right? Whose light and flywheel is that? Anyway. Oh, looks nice, man. Is that a Dark Soul? Yes. All right, I like Dark Soul. We got victory pipes. Cool, cool. We got victory pipes in stock over here. Attract the hobbies. Awesome, man. What other hobby stores got pipes, goodies like this in stock? Head kits. I've said this many times before. Good air filters. Bro, you should stock up on those Bartolone air filters, man. That triple stage. Bartolone's got a new air filter now. It's very nice. Very nice. I, 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 I spoke to him earlier. Mm -hmm. I have to give him a call next week. Yeah. Robinson Racing Gears for Nitro Heads. <clears throat> All right, good shit, man. I want to go back there and take a look at those fit scale parts. Go ahead. 
It's good to have too. It comes with a reamer, two scissors, one curved. Huh. Five and up. Oh, damn. You got out of wear, see that kit? Yes. Wow. Yeah, we got an order. Nice. Nice. Damn, watch your brakes. You got the full force carbon fiber brake pad, huh? Uh huh. Damn. I'm going to have to take that. When'd you get this? Remember, we needed this last year and we couldn't get it? Uh, that just came in along with. Uh Fuel line kit, so, uh, I don't know. Some people like them, some people don't. You got some. <clears throat> Bottle on clutch carrier. Good shit. Now, what the heck is this? Just to carry extra weight? Oh, this it's a beautiful piece, though. It's a, it's a nice looking piece, man. For the head, right? For the Baja, for the uh, sport plug cover. Damn. I don't know. Holy shit. Let me stop filming here, man. What the? 5T. Skip plates. Nice skip plates. Damn. More 5T. Zach Nakafaza. What? MTXL. Nice. MTXL, DBXL. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> My Rooster Tail kit. Rooster Tail 990 or the 1107? Nope, 990. Nice. I'm taking that. Um, all right, let's take a quick look at this guy here. I, ha I have a few of these. It was actually a, too much for my Gizmo 30.5 drag mod. <clears throat> But yeah, maybe we'll have a little fun with this in my in a stock Roven 45 engine. There we go. A nice tool here. I wish it was a little longer. Yeah, it's perfect for the low seas. Yeah. I do have the ADI uh, one somewhere. What are these servo mounts? Nice. Yeah. DBXO. Five T. Uh huh. We well, got the vertical thing. Wow. Input shaft holder. MTXR. All right, for all you uh, drag racers. All right, running uh, King Motor two speed with primal gears and blackbone gears. Look what you got here. FG ball and spring stock up on these people oh uh, give me another one just in case they got some one-way bearings too great i have a few but nice i mean if you know you need them i got them awesome no i can always need them these are always a must two-speed guys get yourself stock up on one-way bearings kid look at that yeah that's for you nice a little carry thing you calling me old bro think i gotta no i'm not calling you old i'm just saying i'm starting to get some termites nowadays yeah, man orange uh and i like this okay my orange is cool it's more visible and everything but nice there you go yeah that's fine i gotta get out of here kid. all right no problem good seeing you johnny right, no problem right. only came here for a few pieces I'm going home with some serious goodies here <laughs> serious I'm not kidding, man. Shit. I don't know how the hell I'm going to put all this together, man. I got so much stuff. Mello, I'll see you, kid.
I gotta go, kid. And uh, yeah, whenever you're ready, man. Uh... Yo, kid, come over here, man. <clears throat> what do you have? Any union break now? No. Yeah, I see. You got a union break, man. Look at this guy. You treat. Look at this, kid. Look at this. <laughs> I'll see you, buddy. Nice seeing you, man. Yeah. All right? Monday, Monday, I'm going to be having some fun. Nice, nice. We'll get together. We gotta, we're going to get together this summer. Yeah, All right, guys. Got it. Till next time. Uh...